Right, welcome to another episode of Testing the Tips, where I, as an average golfer, test some of the tips from the leading golf YouTubers out there. Little nuggets of information that potentially help us improve our golf. And I've been concentrating on one channel in recent weeks, and that's Alex Elliott Golf, because to me, he's helped my game no end. And some of the little tricks that he's shown me, I've adopted into my game, and they're working really, really well. And this is another one why he doesn't line his club head directly behind the ball like you might expect to see at a dress and what kind of benefits that has. It's another interesting one. So this is a follow on from a video really that, um, that I did, I think the last video we put out and it was very much the way Alex aligns his club head with the ball at a dress when he's using driver but also the way John Rahm did as well. And in that video, we looked at moving the club head, not from the kind of position that we would normally associate to be normal, if you like, but moving that club head, almost two head clubs further back in the address position and the benefits of that. So make sure you go and check out that video. I'll be adopting exactly that at the address position in this video because the benefits I've got from it have been significant. But there's an added little bit of extra here in terms of, we would normally again have the center of our club face directly lined with the center of the golf ball. Makes sense, doesn't it? But there's a logic here as to why Alex tees up with the ball out of the toe end with driver and why that could help you hit far better drives. Here's the explanation. Now there are a number of things that Alex covers in his videos and what I like about his videos is they're short and sweet, they're very much to the point and not every tip is gonna work for you and there's always no sort of replacement for a lesson off your PGA Pro, don't get confused by that. But as I say in every video, you might just pick up a little something that starts to help improve your game significantly. And in this video, what Alex is essentially looking to try and do is get us striking the ball out the middle of the club face a little bit more which is obviously where it wants to be to make sure that we get maximum ball speeds with minimal effort I suppose and it's important that we do that so we go back to the video a couple of days back that I put out <coughs> which excuse me which is about setting this club face um, a couple of club heads back from a ball in the address position I would say sort of six to eight inches behind the ball it basically encourages you to hit on the up as well as some benefits for potentially squaring that club face up but again go and check out that video but then we're going to get the ball lined up very much out of the um, toe area as well and the reason for that is because by delivering the club in our normal swing by aligning the way that we're going to suggest you are in theory going to find the center of the club face more often why is that well Alex has a very good description of using centrifugal force as being his, uh, yeah, his line of description, which I'll attempt. But basically, if you imagine a ball on a piece of string, you whip that piece of string round in a circle and the ball will find the furthest point away from your, uh, its central point. And that's exactly what happens with the club head when you swing it. So essentially, if you line up with uh, the ball in the center of the club face by the time we sort of hit our full swing what's potentially happening is we're extending the club head further away from us than our standard address position what that potentially leads to is you not finding the center of the club face but in fact finding the heel the heel can be really detrimental and it can exaggerate that much uh well the distressing thought of a slice so the thought process is simple what we do is we shift our alignment into that um, toe area. When we extend in terms of that full swing, then in theory, the club comes down and it meets the center of the club face instead of the heel. That's the theory, that's the concept. Does it work? Today's video is brought to you in association with channel travel partner Glencore Golf and this week they've sent me out onto the Algarve in Portugal where I will be playing three different golf courses Quinta de Val, Quinta de Ria and Quinta de Cima and I'll be staying in nearby Tavira at the AP Cabanas Resort. The hotel is a modern design with stunning rooms and balcony views to match and this resort has an all-inclusive option. Pour yourself a beer, a glass of wine, and take the hassle out of golf trip planning. The nearby town of Tavira is just minutes away. 
Today's video is filmed at Quinta de Sima, which is located alongside sister course Quinta de Ria, both of which are just a five minute drive from my AP Cabanas Hotel. There is the odd water hazard to avoid, and then you can finish the day off with a visit to the Contemporary Clubhouse. So if you want more information about this golf trip itself or any other that you might be considering planning right now, then please head over to glencourtgolf.com for some more booking information. So, get my alignment first of all in my sort of standard position i'm then going to bring it to the toe area and then i'm going to move the club head back a little bit so i'm in a different position than i would ever associate as being normal all we've then got to do is try and hit the ball just 150 yards which is another lesson from alex which has been working particularly well and seriously that ball has gone straight <laughs> the interesting thing about these videos is that uh, my wife's behind the camera this week and I can assure you there is no setup. That's not been sort of 15 goes, that has been the first take. We put the ball down and we see what happens. On a couple of occasions I've always said I've not got it quite right when I first tried it and you do realise that obviously you're going to have to practice these things, they're not automatic fixes, there's no miracles but literally just adopting those same principles and I've tried it throughout my golf this morning i just cannot believe the difference it's made in terms of straightening up my drive as you know i am predominantly a fader of the golf ball and i'm doing two things i'm changing my address position and i'm also adjusting my tempo which was another video that we put out in recent weeks and i've just hit a bullet straight drive I am amazed. Right, Alex covers another couple of points within his video and I've always said that this is my interpretation of what Alex said, but to see the original video, I will put a link in the description box below. Go and check out Alex's channel. Make sure you subscribe to him because he's helping me out massively and potentially could do exactly the same for you with just those little nuggets of information that he's passing on right now right as ever thank you for watching out of interest i am at quinta de ria right now this is quinta de Sima actually i'm playing this morning on the algarve in portugal i'm out here with glencore golf absolutely stunning golf course you know make sure you stick around over the next week or two plenty of content film from here right that's me done I cannot believe I've literally striped that one right down the middle. See you tomorrow night.